and this is called It's a Girl. The day I dropped into this universe, the only things I registered were fluorescent, bright, cold gloves. The sounds spilling into my uncultured brain would never be as beautiful as my mother's heartbeat. I was cupped in God's hands. His words would haunt me long past when I became doubtful that he was any more than an illusion. It's a girl, as if the status of my conscious existence was in deliberation until the moment I could go from being naked to swaddled in my first label. Despite an open-minded mother, bathrooms adorned with no trespassing signs made me a lawbreaker. There may as well have been crime scene tape over Legos and boxer briefs. I could see it outlined in the gray-blue streaks of my biggest supporter's eyes. Read, don't fight me for those boys' jeans. God promised us he would always shop in the girls' section. Portraits of her disappointment reflect off nail-polished stained linoleum as I wait for steam to cloud a mint toothpaste mirror. I s twist searing metal past hot, brace myself to be suffocated in uncontrollable panic. Don't shake or this razor will cut you legs. Scream feminine no matter how baggy my jeans are at the grocery store. I can see them add my curves to my total misgendered, but I don't know what the correct pronoun is. There is no correct pronoun. The only things I see when I look in the blurred mirror are too big of hips and too big of curves. This binder can't make my chest the right shape. My hands are too small. I am too soft for androgyny. Anxiety is eating at me. Stop eating, stop eating, stop eating, stop eating, stop eating. Scrubbing at my skin can make it stop itching. Why is the water never hot enough? Why does it still burn like acid? Why haven't I grown a new skin yet? Why haven't I grown a new skin yet? The steam streams around my outline, makes it hard to breathe. Seams crisscrossing flesh from too much ace. Wrap my arms over my chest. Feel notches where my ribs shifted, making room for my heart to split. Sick, like the days I stayed home because I couldn't hold it together. Together, hold it together. Feet together, hands at your sides. Conditioner sits for five minutes. Breathe. Wrap two towels to cover unchanged shame. Repeat tomorrow. I know there are ways to defy the shape I'm encased in, but hormones and surgeries would only serve to switch the sexes of my anxieties, so I will remain a pendulum pulled only by the gravity of my day-to-day -day shifts in self-destruction. <coughs> to my body, I will try my best to appreciate you, but on days when I fail, I'll paint bruises like blush and my embarrassment. Maybe someday you'll scream, cave in to this echo of abuse. These ribbed walls may crack and fall. I can hear the fracture. 